In problem number 30 of section 3.1, we're given a triangle with two side lengths fixed at 10 feet and 12 feet with the angle between those two fixed sides. Uh, we're given that, that that angle is increasing at a rate of pi over 3 radians per minute. Now we're asked to find what is the rate of change of the other side with respect to time when the angle between the two fixed sides is, uh, at pi, is pi over 4. Uh, so I've drawn, I've drawn a diagram of uh, this triangle here. So we have A equals 10, uh, side B equals 12, with the um, angle theta between them. And we're asked to find what is the rate of change of the third side, C, with respect to time when this angle is pi over 4. Now, so we're, uh, given that uh, d theta dt is equal to pi over 3 radians per minute. Now the trick here is going to be to use the law of cosines, which says that given any triangle has c squared is equal to a squared plus b squared minus 2ab cosine theta, where theta is the angle opposite the angle, or opposite the side c. Now we can go ahead and uh, use this to solve for c. Have that c is equal to square root of a squared, which I'll just write it up here, c is equal to the square root have a squared plus b squared minus 2ab cosine theta. And we can take the positive value since we're interested in length, which can only be positive. Now, if we differentiate both sides of this equation with respect to t, then we'll arrive at, um, we'll arrive at the value for, and then substitute in d theta dt equals pi over 3, we'll arrive at the uh, value of the rate of change of the side length c with respect to t when theta is equal to pi over 4. So differentiating both sides with respect to t will give us dc dt is equal to, here we have 1 over 2, and then we'll lower the power from 1 half to minus 1 half here, so that'll uh, give us square root of a squared plus b squared minus 2ab cosine theta in the denominator. And now we need to multiply by the derivative of the inside by the chain rule. So the derivative of the inside with respect to t, the first two terms are constant, so they'll go to 0. That will leave us with negative 2ab times now the derivative of cosine is sine. Change this to a positive sign. And that'll leave us with sine theta. And one more application of the chain rule gives us a d theta dt. Now we can substitute all the information that we know. So we'll put in that theta is equal to pi over 4 d theta dt is equal to pi over 3. And we can also substitute in the values a equals 10 and b equals 12. Uh, first, we can notice that the 2's cancel out. Now, we'll have 120 times the sine of pi over 4, which is 1 over the square root 2. times d theta dt, which is pi over 3, uh, all over the square root of, here we have a squared plus b squared is equal to 100 plus 144, or 244, minus 2ab, which is 120, times cosine of theta which is 1 over square root 2 since theta is equal to pi over 4. Now if you work all of this out, see that this comes out to 
approximately 10, uh, approximately 10.3 meters, I believe, excuse me, feet per minute. 